Hello there. Today I'm going to do a waterproof test on the Action 4. But before you put it underwater, there's three places you must check that are tightly sealed. The first place is the battery compartment. As soon as you pull that up, you get a red line there. You must always make sure that that snaps into position and the red line you cannot see. And the second place you must check that's always watertight is a lens protector. Always make sure that's screwed clockwise and nice and tight before you go underwater. And the third place is a USB charging port. When you slide that down, you've got two red tabs. So to make sure that's watertight, just slide it into position, covering the red tabs. And now that I'm happy that all three places are watertight, it's time for the water test. Here we go. And now I'm going to submerge the Action 4 into the water. It's powered off at the moment because I'd like to power it on whilst it's in the water. So I'm just going to put it in right now. No problems there, as you can see. As long as you check all those three points what I've just gone over earlier, you'll be good to go in the water. It doesn't matter if you drop it or spin it round, it's going to be good to go. Now this is quite a good feature what DJI has implemented here. I know they used to have it on the GoPro models, especially the later ones. If you want to lock this screen, which I do recommend because if I was to put this in the water now, as I'll demonstrate, and then if I was to just catch it with my finger, you'll be just going through some menus, as you can see straight away. When you're on holiday swimming around in the sea in the pool, if you don't put the screen lock on, any kind of water splash on the screen will just activate the menus. Just like that. So to lock the screen, you just simply swipe down from the top. And as you can see, there's a padlock. Just select that and the screen's locked, as simple as that. And now when I put it back in the water, the screen cannot get activated. As you can see, nothing can get pressed there. So now if you can imagine that this camera's underwater right now, nothing can be pressed because the screen's locked. So the only way to access the menus again will be to swipe upwards, and then you can access all the menus again. I'm just going to submerge the Action 4 into the water now from a different angle so you can clearly see. The other great feature with Action 4, it's not only waterproof down to 18 meters, you can also buy a diving housing for this, and then you can get to a depth of 60 meters. Another great thing DJI has implemented onto this Action 4, is as you'll see on the lens protector, you don't get many water droplets which stick on there. As you can see. I know on some other action cameras, water droplets love to stick on there, and then that's in your footage and it just looks terrible. But as you can see with Action 4, the water droplets just run straight off the lens protector. So I hope this video is going to help you out if you want to be taking your Action 4 for the first time into water. As I've just said before, you can dive down to 18 meters without an external case on this. But you can buy an external housing for this, which will take you down to a depth of 60 meters. That'll be great for scuba diving. That brings me to the end of the video now. So I hope this video helped you out if you're going to be taking your Action 4 in the water for the very first time. As I've said before, you do take it into water, make sure you check the three points, and then you'll be good to go. As always, thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button, and bye for now.